All right, here's your weather to start your work week off in this first full week of February. Starting out with a stationary frontal system just south of uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. This front will uh, ride towards the north of the Bahamas and then dissipate by this evening. And the second frontal system will begin to race through and come through by tomorrow and uh, change our conditions somewhat. As a result of this stationary front, we've got... Uh, We've got some warming conditions on the southern side of the front. It's very, very beautiful, almost like summer. Well, well, pretty close to summer as it gets this time of year. Here's how the systems have been moving over the past 12 hours. You notice it, not a whole lot of movement with this frontal system, just stationary. And we've got this front system that's rapidly moving down towards the southeast. Most of the cloud coverage is to the north of the uh, Bahamas. Taking a look at the Satellite uh, inf infrared technology, satellite is showing most of the cloud coverage, again, north of us, associated with a stationary frontal boundary dipping up in the Atlantic, and the second frontal system that's coming down will be causing some challenges in time, you can see, off in the distance there. We take a look at the, putting this into motion. You can see most of the activity is r moving up towards the north and east, so it should bode well for us bringing maybe a stray shower, scattered shower or two, but nothing really serious as most of the activity will ride to the north of us on this stationary frontal system. Once this dissipates, the primary front will come through and the winds will increase as it does. Looking at the shower on the radar, we don't see anything across this area, but that doesn't mean that the air was, wasn't moist enough to have it look pretty damp. Yesterday we had some scattered showers over the Abacos, in particular around the Marsh Harbor area where they've got, they've got water enough, rain enough to settle on the ground. But the lower part of Dunderstown was generally dry. Um, you can take a quick, good, good look at that as you were riding through yesterday. Again, we're showing no really serious areas of con uh, condensation occurring. Winds 10 to 15 knots today from the southeast and south. North of 27 north, that's Baker's Bay, Green Turtle Key, Cooperstown and beyond. Look for these winds to be slightly higher, 15 to 20 knots, and they will increase 20 to 30 knots late tonight as that frontal system approaches and moves through. 10 to 15 knots, again, over the nation's capital and into Grand Bahama. 10 to 15 knots, Eleuthera, 10 to 15 knots in the southern Bahamas from the east and southeast. Daytime high temperatures, look at this. We're in 82 in the nation's capital, 79 in Abaco, 79 in Grand Bahama, 82 in, in the southern Bahamas. Generally in the evenings, temperatures dropping down in the mid to low 60s, but a beautiful contrast this time of year. Let's take a look at the frontal system. Tomorrow morning, this frontal system would have moved through across the Northeast Providence Channel, just, north, just south of North Eleuthera, going near the bridge at, and, and, uh, in North Eleuthera, and we get a few scattered showers with this frontal system as it goes through. Again, this is the front that uh, this, on Tuesday, Monday morning, is somewhere up around the uh, Louisiana, Alabama area. So it can tell you how fast this front is really moving. Let's take a look at the forecast for tomorrow once that front moves through. Look for northwest to west winds, 10 to 15 knots. We should say west, northwest winds, 10 to 15 knots. Slightly higher in the southern Bahamas. Before the front comes through, your winds will be southeast to south. They'll rotate to the south, then south-southwest become westerly once that frontal system goes through in the southern Bahamas. Uh, for uh, Tuesday evening, the front will continue uh, southeast and dissipate. And the next serious front's not going to come through until um, Friday, maybe Friday evening, early Saturday. The winds will be 10 to 15 knots on Wednesday, east-northeast. And generally the same because we'll all be on the backside of that frontal system Wednesday. On Thursday, the winds begin to rotate around the high pressure, east to southeast, 10 to 15 knots, the general order of the day. All right, here's your boating forecast. Choppy out there, four to six foot seas, 10 to 15 knots from the southeast and south, north and little Abaco. Winds will be slightly higher as you approach uh, as you near the frontal, frontal system, so please exercise caution boaters in that near area. Southern Bahamas, 10 to 15 knots, southeast to south winds. Four to six foot seas and high tides, 10.40 a.m., low at 5.03 in the afternoon, high in the evening at 11.08 p.m. That's a look at your weather brought to you by our partners at Sky Bahamas Limited. When I fly, 
I fly with Sky.